Hi, Jürgen. Hi, Carl. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, we might as well start start on the negative, I suppose. And can you just a uh, new season, new injury? Andy Robbo Robinson goes off. Can you tell us anything about that first, please? No, oh, really, really don't. No, obviously, I'm not um, uh, how serious it is. It uh, was pretty painful. That's why Andy went off. Um, he got the ball. Probably saw it on the. Um, um, with the TV pictures better than we did. Obviously, the ball on the front of his foot, um, twisted the ankle, and so uh, the pain settled meanwhile already, but we cannot say anything further without um, further assessment tomorrow. Means he has to get a scan, and then we will know more. Any more, Carl? Uh, yeah, just, just generally on the on the performance, so obviously nice to be back at home in front of fans. Uh, another good workout for your side? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was, it was, and you saw how important it is that you have 90 minutes um, football as well during preseason. That was now probably the most intense session we had so far. Could see it in the face of the players, but I think for 50, 55 minutes we we saw an absolute top game from from my team. Um, I think um, we were obviously inspired by the crowd. I'm having 40. 2,000 people back in the stadium or how many were here today. They were obviously really looking forward to seeing us again and um, the boys um, took that and played out, the outstanding first half, full of power, for, for good football in between the lines, super counter press, winning balls back, playing forward directly after that. So a lot of good things I saw today. We, and that's something obviously what you need for, for, a, for a successful season. In our good spells, we have to. We should then to use that to score more goals. Um, that's what we didn't do today. That's why it was only one nil. And this one goal, I think, um, Bilbao deserved. Uh, was a bit unlucky in that situation. We, we got a bit passive. Became a bit passive in this in this period of the game. Um, doesn't make too much sense because um, if you need a little bit of break, you have to keep the ball. The better, most economic part of the game is to keep the ball and 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 let them run. But we didn't do that, and that's that's a mix of the rhythm, whatever we still have to find, obviously. But again, um, with big spells of the game, I was more than pleased. It was absolutely great. If Robo's injury is, would not have happened, I would be over the moon about the performance, to be honest. But so it's all a little bit reduced, of course. Okay, thank you, Carl. Uh, Paul Joyce and then Ian Kennedy from BBC Merseyside. At the moment, that's all we have. Hi, Ian. I was just just wondering how you how you see the sort of new season. A lot of other other teams have spent heavily um, on reinforcements. You, you've obviously brought in Canati. Are you are you happy with where the squad is at? Are you still looking to add to it? I'm very happy with the squad. That doesn't mean that we, that we don't look at the market. Um, but as long as nothing happens, we I'm I'm more than happy with the squad I have. More than happy with the players I have. Um, we have so many things which you can sign. You cannot sign pressing. You can't sign counter pressing. You cannot sign atmosphere. You cannot sign togetherness. You can't sign the atmosphere we can create in a stadium. You can't sign anything. You can't sign our anthem. You can't sign um, a lot of things. Um, and that's what we have to use, obviously. Um, there are different ap approaches, obviously, out there, and um, we have no influence on that. Our situation is like it is. Um, we have a, a big squad, um, and whatever, there, there might still something happen until the end of the season, uh, the, until the end of the transfer window. Um, but I can't say anything about that in a moment. And the month that you've had to get had together with a lot of the players in, in pre-season, that must have been very valuable for, uh, from your point of view, re reinstilling all the principles that got you the success. Absolutely. And improving. It's not only um, reinstalling the, the principles, it's improving um, on the basis of a good defending. We have to find a way to, to, to play um, um, proper football, football which um, gives us results. Football, which gives us excitement of our people, excitement, all this kind of stuff, and that's what I what I'm so happy about, because I, you saw the game yourself, and I think you thought as well in moments, wow, that's really Liverpool, how we know them, and um, we want not to be only Liverpool, how we know them, how long ever ago that was, we want to be Liverpool, um, twenty. One twenty-two, whatever. Um, um, building on the basis we created in the last few years, and that's good. When you don't have a lot of changes, that's good. We we, we have, we want 
And we have new signings. We have we brought three players we couldn't use last year for the most of the time, most of the season. We have back in the team. We have um, obviously um, a new midfielder in the in in our squad with Harvey Elliott. Um, we have players who can make a big step in uh, um, in in to fulfill their potential. And they're in a good way. We have that's that's how it is. So we have. Uh, I'm. With the situation, I'm completely fine. But we all are not blind, and we, how I said, we see what other teams are doing. But in the end, it's not. About, we don't have to be better than them. We only have to be able to beat them. And um, I think that's um, that's what we try to do, um, as often as somehow possible. Okay, thank you, Paul. Ian Kennedy, and I have no other hands, so this will conclude as as my hands are here. Yeah, and just just one really, just looking ahead to um, tomorrow. Um, what are you looking for in this final game before the Norwich game? So maybe tweak one or two things. And are you looking to change the, the personnel for the game much tomorrow? <laughs> if nobody who started today will be involved tomorrow, that's clear. But there's still, there's still a great team. It will be, there's a lot of a lot of um, people, top 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 players. We have only top players involved. Um, it will be a last line. And, um, so will Kvief Kelly will get in the goal, and then um, in front of him will be a really strong um, defensive line. Um, a very experienced um, midfield and a very exciting offensive line. So um, that's what and we actually we want to see the same thing what we wanted to see today, um, our football. So the way we play today, we want to see tomorrow as well. And it um, should be possible with different players. They have different profiles in, 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 in some moments. But still, our football should be possible, should be very intense. And um, so, same thing, not sure if we wear a different shirt or if we wear the same shirt, but the same thing in the same shirt with different players in it. Thank you. And Carl's got his hand up again, so he's going to conclude our press conference as it started. Carl, over to you. Thank you. So, just quick on, you mentioned Harvey Elliott there. You've, you've played him in that deep in midfield. Do you see that as a, a long term plan for him, or is it just a question of fitting him into two at the moment to get him minutes and, and then see where he goes? Because he was good today. He was. He was. Not the first time. Um, he can play the position. So he can play I mean, how you saw then a little bit later when he when he when he got up front more went in the center, Harvey played and the, the right wing. He smashed the ball on the crossbar in that moment. He has different he can play different positions. That's uh, there's absolutely no doubt about it. But I think um, in, in in the in the preseason we wanted to see him just in a deeper role because it's a very young player, you have to learn a lot of things when you are uh, Bit more outside, and you get a ball from time to time. We want to have, we wanted to have him more involved, and I think he made a big step in his preseason. And um, Harvey stays fit, and um, the the football world um, can be really excited about that. Um, so I liked his performance today. I like his um, performance and attitude during the during the preseason. So good for us, good for him. Okay, thank you, everybody. And just to say, we won't be doing a press tomorrow night. It makes no sense having done one tonight, but our preview will be on Friday. And uh, it's great to see you in the press box if not in the room with us at least so uh, hopefully that won't be too long and hello to Jed and Dave behind Paul on his uh, right <laughs> shoulder there lurking behind <laughs> well, you're, really, you're really in a good shape oh, yeah. since, he, since he won the ping pong tournament okay, thank you guys really, see you later really, enjoy and we'll confidence. speak to you all soon bye 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 bye